Welcome back. Melissa here from Morgan's Off the Leash. Um, anyone that's new, welcome. I appreciate you stopping in, checking out videos, even subscribing. I just want to quickly introduce myself. I'm Melissa Morgan, um, originally from Outdoors with the Morgans. I started this channel uh, just a year ago. I started publishing videos, uh, some behind the scenes of Outdoors with the Morgans, and then our trail walks with the dogs, and our kids are involved with their activities. So it's just been kind of fun and it keeps us busy. I'm going to share stuff about my son with autism. Here we are with Hunter. Uh. Um, our oldest son, Hunter. Uh, is kind of like my partner in crime. always there behind the scenes or pacing in the back of videos or sometimes uh, in the videos. Today, April 2nd, is Autism Awareness Month. Uh, I'm well aware <laughs> and I think a lot of you are well aware, but I think it's important that we just get the word out for people understanding that their behaviors may be different, but yeah, so I have a lot of stories that I could tell. And you know what? One day when uh, my kids, grandkids, great grandkids sit down to read my journals, boy, they're going to have a good time. It's going to be very interesting to uh, read through all the stories of guess what happened today. Um, yeah, you know, when Hunter was younger, it was a challenge. And I think the challenge was because he was the oldest and then his siblings were close. Uh, 18 months, Levi is 18 months younger, and Hannah is like three years younger. So just lots of memories that um, it was, uh, it kept us hopping. It was always busy. Um, Hunter was always uh, getting into stuff. Climbing, he was a climber. He would climb to the top of the swing set and walk across the beam. Um, he was, if he was silent and you didn't see him or hear from him, you knew he was into something he shouldn't. So. You know, his teenage years, um, after I would say, you know, puberty, and it was probably like 13, 14, uh, he started um, having some seizure activity and going on medicines. And he had a grand mal seizure when he was 19 and he was in the hospital for a couple of days. And uh, that was pretty awful. I will say that I kind of always thought as Hunter's mom that things would get easier as he got older. And, um, it's not that they they didn't. I think one, I got wiser. I gained experience, some knowledge. Hunter got wiser, smarter. He got quicker, faster. He got trickier. So um, working side by side, we got the hang of one another's behaviors. But I will say the challenges uh, all together just are different and uh, this pandemic from the year of 2020 through the present day has been a challenge because he doesn't wear a mask so he no longer attends his day program and he's home with us and we created our own day program here and that's worked really well i'm surprised actually if you would have asked me i would have been like i don't know i don't know i was expecting some bumps in the road and we've had those but hunter's worked really hard and has done really well he likes to have his routine. He likes to have a schedule be the same. And that makes sense. I think he functions well knowing that he knows the routine. But uh, he's a hard worker. He really tolerates a lot. Some activities that he keeps us on schedule is the laundry. Um, he likes to go for a ride daily. He likes to have um, a fountain drink or a soda, uh, soda pop once a day. He usually gets one. And um, he's a worker. He gets uh, he has a strong work work ethic. Uh, Hunter is 28 years old, nonverbal, um, and has always lived with us. Uh, we've lived here in this house for 25 years. So Hunter's kind of always been in this area, in this home, in the neighborhood. Many of the people in the area know him. One thing I think has been great that we've always done is taking him out in the community. We went to, you know, Kennywood is an amusement park. Hershey Park is an amusement park. Um, 
we would go to Sand Castle. It's a water park. Um, we did a lot of things. It didn't become difficult to take him places until we got older. Like I would say by the time of 18, 19, and in his 20s, um, it was just more difficult that you have a 20 year old and now he's, like I said, 28, uh, just 200 pounds jumping and screaming like a five year old over um, not getting his way or maybe being frustrated or not understanding. And that's just, it's hard to handle. I, you know, I've heard the expression that if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. It is a wide spectrum. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a, it's a broad, it's very wide spectrum. So I'm just gonna, you know, speak to what I know best, which is my son Hunter. Uh, he was diagnosed shortly after turning two. Uh, growing up, raising him was an adventure, always on the go. The kid never sat down, he still never sits down. He's always on the go. Likes to know what's going on, likes to know exactly what everyone else is doing. So he is, um, we always call him the supervisor. He likes to supervise. And he does, he does like to supervise. He likes to learn, but he has something he doesn't like, you're gonna know it. If he wants you to leave, if you stop in to visit us and he's had enough of this visit, he's gonna bring you your shoes and he's gonna show you to the door. It's interesting, he, um, yeah, he, like I said, for someone that doesn't verbally communicate like you and I, he does take our hand, we call it hand over hand, he does take our hand to show us some things that he might need help with or something that he wants that he knows he has to ask permission for. And uh, other than that, we're pretty set up in our home for him and his schedule. And uh, he's he's trained us in, in the process that we think we're training him. But you know, they say you train people on how to treat you. And uh, that's kind of gone both ways very well. And that's fine. Uh, Hunter likes, uh, if you think about it, he likes a lot of things we like. He likes, um, you know, a good chicken sandwich, a good meal, he loves soda pop. Hunter's here. Looks like he's a little embarrassed. He got some sunburn, he stands up. Here we are with Hunter. Uh, he got some sun. I think I showed you. But, you know, the boat head. He gets red, and now he likes to uh, be shy. But um, we ran into some trouble today. We did. This guy, he was mad, in trouble. Archie got in big trouble. So Archie's taking a nice long nap in the house. Uh, I took these two dogs on another loop through the trails and this one came with me and he didn't want to. Did not want to, did you? Okay, so this is Hunter and I outside after a walk. This is kind of like the blooper section, but we do want to thank you so much for being here, watching, liking these videos, commenting. Please ask any questions or comments you have down below. We'll do our best to get back to you. And we do plan on doing a possible video part two and part three of more about Hunter. But thanks again. This is really a manageable friendship for Hunter, someone with autism like himself that can get overstimulated easily. So we'll see you on the next one. So Hunter's got us. Walking shoes on. <laughs> He's all warmed up. We're ready for Ty's probably gonna be stopping tonight. You were pretty mad at me, right? He was screaming. He did not wanna walk the trail. All right, so I've heard people say, if you go work out, take a nice long walk, get to the gym, do a nice workout, you're never re gonna regret it. And I believe that. I think I've probably said that a few times myself. Hunter, did you have some regrets? Mm. Did ya? <sighs> he yelled most of, actually the entire time on the trail. We got home, he was still yelling. But he did it, and um, he's been quiet and calm ever since, so I think he feels good. No regrets, do you have any regrets? So actually, maybe Hunter doesn't regret it. I just think he, um, he definitely voiced his opinion during the trail walk.